go to Operation Blind Dryad. Ground Command says, Hi, Command. Good job clearing that town. Uh, though, I bet it took you a little long while. Proceed to clear out the FOB. Yeah. What's All that right. comes in and literally saves the tank crews? Hits that one point blank. And he's forced to bail. I think, yeah, because he was flying that close, the uh, shoulder fire, the turret AT, uh, excuse me, AA probably fired at him because all my Tigrises are down. <clears throat> all right, so I need to adjust my front line here. Have the LZs come up to here. Rally point will be the town itself. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh, ground command. 10-4 Foxtrot, what's going on? Where do you want us to go? Just we 10 really four didn't Foxtrot. anything at all this whole time. Fuck, where'd my LZ marker go? Okay, I need all forces uh, within the town to meet up on the uh, southern at, on the southern road. Oh, okay, I put all- what the fuck? That's because I rotated it while I was copies. selecting the other one. Whoops. All right, so we're gonna call in for some reinforcements via CSAT. Need up, uh, label uh, how I'm gonna do road. this? I know how, cause uh, the transport vics haven't really been working. So instead, we're gonna move fire teams into the AO. To do that, we're gonna need to spawn units. Uh, we're gonna switch it to unarmed Quillins, and instead of eight-man teams, I'm gonna do fire teams. So we'll throw in some elite units, um, guard patrols. All squad leads, uh, re relay that information to your uh, men as well. I didn't say that again, I was down. 20 guys, so that'll be 5 oh, Quillins. Um, Quickly I'll, mobilize into okay, the AO. Uh, the Drop the guys out here and they'll move in. The southern road of the town. Uh, everyone needs to meet up there. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm not politically correct. So that tank crew, they pulled in front of it to give them some cover. Unfortunately, it looks like the tank with the medic was the one that was hit. And the other tank crew, its engine's still revving, but looks like they killed the crew. Hey, so now uh, it's going to be up to the infantry. Intact or not. Uh, should we just destroy the FOBs? This is High Command. Which mission are you referring to? Uh, the, the last mission, the, uh, main Last FOB, mission's objective uh, is just clear out the main FOB, which is the objective marker, and take out four Tigresses, if you haven't already. Alright. We don't gotta blow stuff up, especially in strategically placed areas. Uh, alright. So they're moving up. A majority of my Vipers ate a lot All of right, tank has rounds. Everyone met up on the uh, nah, no, we still need everyone to do it. Okay, All right, past it. That, that, All right, Fluffers. That, that, that mark is behind us. We're gonna keep where we are. Okay, stay and hold their, that position. Um, Fluffers, it's time to get out of here. It's been fun, Mr. AT Man, but Bunny's gotta go no, where Bunny's gotta go. The, uh, who, Goodbye. Who on the east side of the <laughs> Delta is on the east side in the ah, I uh, love it. marker. We've got All right, guys final mission. Back wounded. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, just hur hurry up with that and uh, meet up at the black marker. Actually, uh, let's move up to. Uh, Echoes, uh, a lot of casualties the point on the enemy team. With the mortars. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Let's leave the rest. The advised ground forces got one time. Griffin equipped with clusters and mantors taking off now. They took one of the cluster bombs. Yes, they did. One of the three I put back there. Uh, go high command is ghost. Uh, it's high command and traffic yes, ghost. ghost. Did, Is there any he... possibility that we can trade in uh, Zemek covered for our Strider at base? Uh, that is a negative. You pushed all those Striders out in the first mission and got most of them destroyed, so... Right. Not, not my fault. Not my fault. Hey, 
Hey guys, I'll uh, be right back. Are there any striders still alive in the so, AO? Breaking down what they have yeah, left. This is Echo. We've got one at the they shot him dead. Yeah, Fluffers picked the right time to it leave. Has ammo in it. If anybody requires ammo, there is ammo in our strider. Fluffers, you gotta go take strider. out those mortars before they if use them we against would us. Bring uh, more. Uh, could we trade it in for your strider? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. All right, I'm gonna break these apart. Delta to recon, do we have eyes on the other Tigris compounds or just that one right now? They All the Tigris compounds have been taken out, but I don't think that's been relayed yet. Ooh, and this guy's got a Cyrus. That was meant for UAV, not Echo. I'm retarded. What was your request? There you go. Can I hit you? Man. There we go. You're just sitting there like a dum dum. Oh. Uh, well, we just there's a technical HMG just at the crossroads in Derrida, and it's available if anyone wants to use it. What is their obsession with the cross with the freaking technicals? Uh, Willis TP to Ethan DC. Okay. Where is Ethan? There's Mirawell. Draw to command. The standing command Bro. from traffic. Bro, is currently at the meetup point waiting for orders, so how should we proceed? Uh, player. Uh, can we just wait for all squads? Commands that deep back to come Willis. Copy that. Once all squads are there, just. Communicate among yourselves. Have a plan to push up to the compound. This is Delta to whoever's in charge right now, requesting permission to unload these mortars at the main enemy fob and then just. We don't ask what Sergeant Fluffers does. Regroup with all forces. Are they just ignoring me? Okay. Bye! Don't mind me, I'm just a bunny! <laughs> uh, minor trolling. Nah, I don't want them to mortar it. There isn't that much infantry here. This is meant to be every squad assaults that objective for the end, because otherwise if they soften it, then, well, where's the fun in that? Hey, Delta. All right, otherwise I got one squad, Ethan's squad, that is pushed up, followed by Delta another squad attack. coming in to assist. The rest of these guys are coming over on the left and taking them out. Renos, yeah, he picked a bad place to AFK right there. I just sniped him off. And then the rest of the group's over here, and then they've got their vehicle support slowly pushing up, waiting till it's clear. Delta, this is Echo. Yeah, Arma 3 jets. Vanilla, eh. They still haven't fixed the RHS jets yet, though, so... I don't know. Roger, if squads are grouped up and one of the other squad leaders can take command... So got the final area. I'm gonna have this squad plus. come over to assist. Right, this is Echo. I've got some of Delta at Echo Mark. Gonna get back on the sniper. If squads could push towards Echo Mark, we are ready to assault. Give a warning shot. Give a reload. That'll let them see my position. Yeah, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Oh, let's go in for the kills. Right in the leg. Cor really? His gun wasn't sticking out. Ah, then again, it's Arma. Doesn't always match up, but good shot by that AT guy. Still hit Jordan in the leg. They're going to pop smoke to get him back up. I will say the smoke use today has actually been really fucking excellent compared to what normally happens. It's just the command and the planning has been not so much. Actually, the original plans they've been making are good. It's just 
they get schwacked because they do something and then okay, it gets fuck uh, it completely right. fucked up. So it's like they just blew up the MRAPs here. They were uncrewed, right. that's fine. You know, more destruction's always fine. Oh, well, these are AT specs. Okay, we're taking a Mora. We're taking a Mora to the town, returning into the Strider, and then getting into recomposition for the sec for the AO. Right. Hearing the tanks start echo. to unload. We are on Echo Marker. We are suppressing the main. Hear that jet flying main. over. We'll, uh, wow, they wasted no time. I'm already left, hit. Up to the hill, and then we'll push up. Let's see. Oh, AI on cool Garrison. Cool. Have this guy pull back. This was a Viper team, right? Yep. A retarded Viper Fuck team. Why do you all have your binox out? To the south of the town, we're just uh, pushing around to the right a little to try to get a bit. Gonna make them drop them, so they pull their fucking guns out. Okay, what squads are up? I don't know which update Echo made them go. start pulling their binox out more often, okay, but Echo. Um, I hate it. Damn it we need some more squads. They're firing back and forth. Um, okay, Joe's gone down. Watching him take two hits, three hits, and he's still okay. Yeah. That's Viper armor for you. Tanks just literally schwack these okay, top have to uh, again. pillars. Um, someone, uh, I don't know who uh, take over for a few minutes. Charlie, are you still taking fire from me? That few men pushing up to my hill! Okay, nope, you made your point. You made your point. I'm getting off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they don't want any of my shit. Yeah, only three of them were pushing up, so this is a better sizable force to do that, but. No, you don't like. I just heard a cluster bomb land. And I think the AA site's reacting now. Right now she hot my kid. Right now she hot my kid. He went in. Yeah, shoot machine guns at that. You wanna try again? I surrender. I mean, if you're gonna shoot machine guns at infantry that have weapons to literally take you out. Ah, oh, that's not my, my, my business. So, cluster bomb was dropped. The issue with that is they still gotta go in here and breach it out. So, we might see some friendly fires and hear some uh, UXOs go off. That should be interesting. So, ruling commander, he's bailing out. But yeah, these uh, AA turrets are still up, so uh, I'm willing to bet he dropped that cluster and then they the locked on and took him out. Otherwise, I'm going to grab this machine gunner, get up on the tower. Are you under contact? Well, at least I got him with that, but he just kind of looked at me and went, Oh yeah, that's cute. I hate it when they do that. Not really? So now they're using their smoke to slowly advance. So I took out another one of their tanks. They've commandeered that enemy T-100. Are you firing? Uh, Echo was it. This is Ghost? Roger, uh, I'm just trying oh. to find out where uh, people are so we can uh, try and uh, plant try something. Um, Ooh. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Is it still up it wasn't the meat of a point. It's getting the cover here. But yeah, the squads are basically acting the time. How did you get... What? But I took... Ah, uh, whatever. Armor glitches. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? So they've pushed up. GMG in the smoke. That would be air.
Cast be advised, that was danger yeah, close. That was danger close. See, look, UXOs are being highlighted within that compound that they're gonna have to breach. Oh. Ah, couldn't swing out their minigun in time. I'm gonna start suppressing that position. But yeah, like, we got an infantry team over here. Like, we've only got one squad. They're all separating themselves onto different positions and they're fucking themselves. Hey, uh, Bravo, do you require a medic? Yeah, we have uh, our own medic. No good. Ouch. Does your current position Does accurate? I mean, that's why they're getting hammered here, is because they've divided their forces again. Their armor is in no Roger, position to support. Uh, they should go up on this hill. Plane was shot down. I'm pushing to your position. Reno, shut up. Reno, shut up. You and him. You and him. I know. I know. Hey, sorry, dude. Hi, Command, can you uh, remove Red? Already done. Gonna come in here and hot Mike, then, well. That was their command, original commander, too. Roger, I thought that was common sense, but I guess not. We'll just prevent people that do that from ever commanding again. Because it's clear they're inadequate at that point. Delta, have you guys cleared out the compound near your position? Oh, is this 50 cal now turning around? Yep. Grab the medic from this building. He's going to come join in on the fight. All right. How many LMGs of the BIT aren't loading? Yeah! This guy's just looking up and admiring the damn jet. That 50 cal's firing. Ooh, I just watched that guy take bullets. Whoo, air breaches. What the fuck am I even saying? They're throwing grenades. Bye, bro. Echo. Would you be able to get my that was good. That was good. Alpha twelve squad to be advised to one T one hundred. You get shot real quick right when you do that. Five hundred meters. That's a commandeered tank that they haven't uh, called up yet. Uh, friendly tanks. You've got enemy tanks just in front of you. Literally just said there's a friendly tank. They just said... <laughs> yes, it's an enemy T-100. No, these guys wouldn't have view. So, ASF just blew up. Friendly so I appear to have tank. your engineer down on my I love how they called it out I'm marking him. and they still blow it up. Yeah, friendly tank is definitely fired by AT. Yeah. I did There's no me. AT left in this base, it's just all uh, sentries and uh, everything else has been carpet bombed. They're firing that MG up here, making sure those AA turrets are clear. But yeah, we're definitely in the uh, falling action here. Here, I'm going to use the little camera monitor. No command right now. Delta, how are you doing? Normally, not... this camera lags like hell, but it's actually been pretty decent. Delta's good, clearing the compound two times 50 kills. Charlie, how are you? We 
We can't access its zoom in feature though. Yeah. How are you doing? We are currently uh, assisting bra uh, the tank crew. Roger. Being revived. Hey. Maybe Bravo as well. Yeah, Bravo, how are that you doing? That guy just got blown away. Oh, uh, we're doing fine, waiting for medic storm. Cholt ran up, got 50 cal. I gave her some fuel. Yeah, yeah, Fox truck helping with that. Hey, uh, Fox truck, move it to support. Hey, uh, Bravo. That's all we have left. What's that? Basically, uh, flares. I think he might have done a strike too, but we gotta also remember there's UXOs in here from a cluster bomb. So when we see that final breach, we might see a few friendly fire instances just based off of that. So, um, based off of that happening. Charlie, we have a possessed body there as well. Coming down the main road. Fox drop move to Port Bravo. Fifty cal, I think, is even firing at what's that because he's distracting them. Some of those mine markers are the UXOs, so we'll see how it goes. But I hope you guys have been enjoying this operation. I think it's been very enlightening on how pubs can be. Wait! Scorch Earth Tactics! Scorched Earth Tactics! Jet just flew over back, again. I'm back. Echo's moving up to the main base. Bravo, if you follow All behind right. us, same with Foxtrot. Moshi Moshi! Delta will uh, try and push and meet towards you. Alright, they're starting to hit that final place. Pushing up on it. 50 cal has been taken out mainly by air. I still have this sit down 50 cal over here and another one right here that's overwatching the other uh, exit. And mines near the, uh, the uh, main base. I don't think this thing's gonna be able to drive over the sandbags. God damn, I thought it would hit the Hesco barrier. Oh well, I tried. Still got a few guys down. Fluffers is out of the area. I've got a static right there. Those are guys are also a static. And that 50 drops them. So they outflank that turret, take it down, good. And now the straggling will commence. Well, I definitely hit the point man there, but the other two are fine. Crippled Willis. Hearing that 50 cal firing off. Yeah, I think it's firing above. That's what actually hit Cooper from the looks of it. Uh, they brought a UGV there as well. I'm hearing these guys fire their sniper rifles in the compound as well, picking off whatever targets they see. And now the UGV is engaging that section with GMG fire. Gonna keep going with our counter breaching here. Can only look so many directions. Got Raptor mod addict, uh, as right there was able to get me. Let's see, AI on Garrison. Give him a bit of a skill boost. Grunt, come on, this is Alpha. They call it clear, I'm gonna yeah, RC the machine gun and go down. nuts. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. You want to destroy the radio tower? Up, uh, yeah, do it. Well, his face is gone. 
Oh, I mean, it doesn't say anywhere to destroy the radio though. tower. It just says take the central yeah, FOB. And that's that. That's GG for the player base. Operate oper operationally op. Don't remind me of that little screw up of <laughs> the bloopers last night. Yeah, so about two hours on the low end, but they started a bit earlier. It's fine. Where did they falter, though? Comms. Definitely tonight highlighted probably some of the worst comms I have ever seen in operation because they literally broke down from the first to second mission. Uh, you had multiple different people stepping up to command. Even what's that put his hat in? That's how fucked they got. Hey, one of them stepped on a UXO, but they survived. Okay. Ah, uh, just that in combination with their coordination of squads really put them out of position and caused them to get fucked outright so many times. But by the third AO, when they finally were forced to regroup together in terms of what they were trying to pull off for the second AO got better, but only by proxy. Uh, good things that I saw, though. Let's end with the good things. Uh, smoke Rocker grenade use alpha. was excellent. All right. All right, alpha that Definitely alpha. excellent. When they Radio got their alpha second alpha. wind, uh, All right, ten four. definitely well done uh, there. Command, uh, this is ground down. command. Uh, the tower's down. This that is high command what? Uh, yeah, the, the FOB uh, has been taken out, I'm fairly certain. Attempted to troll him. Solid copy. Uh, what is the status FOB. of the four Tigresses? Um, unsure at the moment. Um, uh, all squads, uh, what's the, how many Tigresses have been destroyed? Yeah, a lot of lone wolfing too. Vehicle support did really well on the second mission once they finally came up. And especially uh, with the oh, Vipers, wow. I sent to reinforce. They schwacked all of them. But that was, like, the only good instance. There were also a lot of cases of vehicles pressing up ahead of the infantry. Hold on Alpha's one second. Destroyed, Jello. I want to see if they blow up the tower because I'm going to make a joke out of it. I probably didn't see any blown up TVs. That was kind of Air's job. By now, they would have all been despawned. Alright, Ground Command, uh, be advised, missions are complete. Uh, I hope you left that radio tower alive. It's going to be really useful for next week. Oh, great. Uh -oh. Just, just beautiful. Where did it say? I mean, it never said to blow up any sort of tower, so, you know. Yeah, they asked me to, That's and I said, fuck it, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get the channel unlocked. She is, and we're gonna have them all come up, so. This should be good. Sir, you've been in a coma for ten seconds. Oh boy, I hope that radio tower's still up so I can watch TV. Ah, uh, fucking hell. Let's see. Let's also get our little wee-woo background down. Uh, and let's cut the music here. Check team speak. Everyone's been moved up. If not, I will move them for them. Perfect. All here. All right. So Here's the deal. I'm gonna... I'll call What's it audible that? this time, Lyra, because I gotta get going. Uh, yeah, so... all right. Big fucking flaws tonight, guys. You cannot, as a fucking commander, are in languish and try yes, to this was the last mission. plan when you have enemies pushing your shit in. Sometimes you have to fucking take shit by the horns and fucking move your pieces around as you can. Oh, and That's feel free to say if there was any, um... Second mission. Same thing with the fucking first there's mission. There's any issues. Like, sat there for 30 minutes for a second. Uh, that I missed. And Skylining was... Really was it wasn't that bad of an issue. That was just more my render distance. Like, fucking just move in a single line if you need to to keep things simple. Uh... Second, if you're going to be a commander, you cannot, you cannot leave for whatever reason. Like, if you are going to be getting up and down and aren't able to fucking command the entire op, you should not be commander. Yeah. And so, unless you can avoid that in the future, you're not going to be commanding again. Because literally, people were like, command, command. And then they're like, oh, command's away right now. And just, yeah. So, second thing.
comms. Like, when somebody says that there is a fucking friendly vehicle in front of a enemy... There's a friendly T-100 in front of the other fucking uh, main battle tanks, and you fire on it, that's a lack of communication. Squad leads, you need to pu uh, push information along to your fucking uh, squad level people, so that way uh, shit like that doesn't happen. Uh, second thing, command, uh, squad leads need to be listening to the command chat, because there's plenty of times tonight when I heard Foxtrot, Delta, and Bravo, and a few other fucking squads sit there and be like... Uh, repeating the same thing over and over again, or asking about something that had already uh, fucking been pushed across the command net. So one of these off start uh, tonight, four. big failure on fuck man, so, uh, and two big hours fucking ago. failure on uh, comms. If you do not have comms, fucking command doesn't know what's going on. If uh, command doesn't have good comms either, fucking controlling the entire AO is going to be difficult as well. Uh, final point, fucking vehicle support. Uh, I don't know what the hell you guys are doing, but you took all those fucking uh, striders and you wasted them. Uh, yep. I don't know why you take a fucking strider when you have... How many APCs do they have? They had Six fucking... Moras, five Gorgons at base. So you have more than enough vehicles, and then to sit there and worry about transportation to the AO again when you are literally less than a kilometer away, you can hold the W button and you can be within a uh, fucking fighting position within a minute. Uh... So it's not just about the fucking INA mentality where it's like, oh, the AO's done, let's get in the helicopter, let's go back to base rearm and attack the next uh, fucking facility. That's not how it works here. A little bit more involved. So uh, fucking take control of your squad, figure out what your next objective is. If you're waiting on command and you're being attacked by the enemy, fucking calls for support. Don't just sit there and be like, hey, we need a medic. Call out that you're fucking overrun because just like saying you need a medic doesn't let other people know how severe the threat so was. If he's watching if I was the stream watching so we can hear him in the background. Today, I would not have known. Um, who was it? It was Echo? Yep. I would not know have known that you were completely overrun. And I would not have known what the situation was if I had not, not glanced over at his stream. So. Fucking takeaway for this is is uh, a fucking good operation with the smoke, good vehicle smoke yep. at first, um, yep. and towards the end of the second op. But uh, you have to fucking have a clear plan of action. Uh, it and then bring any emplacements or rearm. Complicated. So. It can be as simple as hey, move to RP one, fucking move in force, and that's what you guys did. It fucking worked, didn't it? Yep. What's that hit most of the That's points on the head? Um, yeah, comms, big disaster. Command, even bigger disaster. That lull in between the first and second AO where I literally had to send units your way to get you to start moving when it was about a click away. I mean, come on. Um, I don't... It's because of those issues, but also the formation and unit positioning tonight was pretty bad. Uh, on the second AO, you had three squads going one way while two went another. The two got wiped, and the three ended up having to, you know, go back to assist the two. One of those three didn't get the message, and they all got wiped too because they they started assaulting the AO. They went into the kill zone without any sort of support. So there was an instance within that AO where there was only, like, you were only 30% combat effective at most. The rest of you were just pretty fucked. But otherwise, I don't know. I'm also being told someone isn't flying anymore. Because he apparently TKs a lot of people and just leaves. Lovely. Seven, okay. Yeah. Anyway, other things I want to say. Yeah, uh, to reiterate the vehicle point, there were some points where vehicles worked really, really well once you guys finally got in the mindset to use them. Uh, the first AO, for example, really well with the vehicles until you went too far south and went into the CSAC kill zone. Um, then everything kind of stagnated, especially the Strider use, which was pretty bad. Um, and then you got the tanks, brought, started bringing them up. For the second AO, uh, when they finally got there, they were effective. Good job with the Overwatch. They killed most of the Vipers that were coming in to reinforce. That was very well done. Uh, then they were just kind of left out of position for the third AO. Uh, they weren't really given any orders. If they went to the west, there were some big hills right there they could have got on and literally helped uh, suppress How'd the rest of the AO. 
Um, otherwise, yeah, they still were able to come up. They hit a few of the main battle towers within the final FOB. Um, another thing, if you're going to literally engage Titan AT guys with machine guns from, like, a click out, I'm just going to remote control them and fire AT at you. So, food for thought. In fact, uh, since there was an infantry squad close by that actually ended up going up and engaging them, just coordinate with the infantry. Tell them to go kill them, and that'll be fine. Uh, other fuck-ups. Um, some minor things. Uh, number one, if people are just going to lone wolf into enemy contact, I will remote control and shoot them. And there's a difference between lone wolfing in the sense of, you know, you're kind of separating your force to spread around in a town and clear out buildings within like one or two man teams. That's fine. But having a guy run like 750 meters away from the rest of his group, especially if he's the squad lead. No, that's a no, no. Uh, furthermore, the commander should never be in front and the commander should never go AFK on an open hill. I will snipe him. I didn't even realize he was the commander until after I went out of the interface. That was smart. Uh, another rule, any commanders are no longer allowed to AFK. If you think you're going to need to AFK, don't take it because commanding is probably the hardest job within the entire just complexity of Zeusing. Or, excuse me, the Arma Ops. Um, it's harder than Zeusing because they have to be coordinating all of you guys. They don't get a fancy bird's eye view. Sometimes they get a drone interface, but otherwise they just get a map and just approximations of where those guys are. So, yeah. Uh, another small note that I thought was a bit funny. Uh, don't cluster bomb an area that you have to go and clear out. Uh, someone dropped a cluster on the main FOB, and then two people went into the FOB and stepped on one of the UXOs. They didn't die for some reason. They didn't even take any damage, but... Yeah, UXOs are a thing now ever since uh, the last air update, so... Or orange update, I believe, so just be smarter about that. But uh, today, there was a beautiful use of smokes. And the plans that were made by command were really, really good in terms of what I was, you know, tabbing out to see. It's just uh, the second one to hit the second AO and the third AO were not followed. You guys just kind of stagnated in because command, like, kind of broke down at that point. Uh, and then, again, make sure you guys are in close enough positions to support each other. Uh, second AO, again, you were up to, like, 30% combat effective, and I really started having to pull my fucking punches. Uh, but the third AO, you guys also did something similar, where you had one squad run over, do this, one squad run over, do that. Um, yeah, uh, it's lucky that some weeks we have medics that know what they're doing, they stay in the back, and you're able to get yourself back up like cockroaches. Other times, if your medics are out of position, you'll be fucked. So, just keep that in mind. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how these ops were diff more difficult than when I literally threw a metric shit ton of shit at you last week. But, hey, whatever works. Uh, otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to now promote all the tier dashes to tier zero. If you want to join this community, someone should put the forum link in the chat of the team speak. All you got to do Permit is find a basic miscellaneous or general infantry training, attend that, and you'll get your tier one. Permission to speak. <clears throat> Yeah, sure. I, I want to say I am sorry to all of you. I buckled like a fucking flimsy cardboard wall. It it was terrible, and I am sorry that this shit show happened. Um, I, I'm taking all responsibility on this one. Yeah, it was you definitely a fuck up. Well, you may have small imperfections. I was by far the biggest uh, imperfection this entire op. Um, hey man, you had the courage to command, so I don't, I don't know. I think that you've been too hard on yourself, mate. I think that yeah. you've acknowledged, like, the, the one thing that you've got to take away from this, like, first and foremost, is that you've admitted that things went wrong under your watch. And at first admitting that there was a problem with that, and you're not taking responsibility for that, it shows far more than people would actually say, nah, you guys are terrible, you didn't follow what I said. Don't be too hard on yourself. Maybe give command a break for a while, uh, go down to squad leading, learn a little bit more. And then maybe when you get the gist of how squads integrate with each other, maybe step up then. But I'd say for now, just like keep it to the lower should be ranks and just yeah. Try and <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I, I will say this just to add a little bit. Uh, that's not a suggestion. That's gonna need to be followed through. Reno, um, take take two months, squad lead or play on the ground. Uh, get some other feedback. I do appreciate you stepping up, but what really what really sets it though is you kind of went AFK like twice for a while. Yeah. 
So yeah, I, that's the no-no there. Like everything else is fine if you fuck up, but if you like literally abandon your guys without setting up a two IC, you're you're kind of fucking everybody over. I I I wish I didn't have to, but I had to go move some fucking boards with hey, uh, hey, you know, it family doesn't, members it doesn't, and shit. Hey, hey, IRL hey. shit is IRL. Yeah, it happens. But yeah. it should be a reminder to everyone, set up a 2IC, because you could crash out and start having technical difficulties. You could get called over by your mother and start hot micing. I can hear the ins- Actually, we can all hear the entire <laughs> conversation. I remember I that clip. You. I had to oh, fucking yeah. kick you, for fuck's sake. I, but, I've seen that. Yeah, um, just set up a 2IC next time, and it should be that, fine. That, ac- that actually wasn't my mother, that was my grandma. I don't- It, I, it okay, doesn't whatever. matter. I, I yeah, guess I know, I know you I don't. Know. All right, chaos. Step up. What do you got to say? All right. There are several key points about leadership. You're never gonna be a good leader after what? one op at all. Leadership takes time to learn, time to master your own abilities and realize your faults and and your strengths. Do not fucking believe that you will be the greatest leader after like five missions. It takes no, forever. No. It happens, you know? Of course. It's... So basically, they're just talking about leadership and whatnot. And I will admit, this community that I have built uh, within to TSB, it does have a leadership problem, but a lot of communities that are run this way, that are just public ones, they generally have that because everyone's afraid to step up, which is acceptable. But we're, we've are we been trying for months to, you know, find different aspects to get things in and you know, it's just, we do get good people that step up. It's just, they eventually get burnt out because they always step up. And the cycle of people is they step up, they lead for a while, they get burnt out. And between that time, nobody else really steps up. And then the next one doesn't, the next one, and blah, blah, blah. That's why we don't see the tier fives lead that much anymore. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, was there anything good we did? Yes, Tootie. I already said uh, smoke use was amazing. The vehicles, when they were doing their job, did amazing. Air did a really good job with the exception of that cluster bomb. I'm not faulting them for that. Then again, their, Reno did... Well, Reno was the commander, but he crashed two Mohawks together, and uh, one of the pilots apparently started team-killing people. Lovely. Um, and the CQB was actually pretty good. Um, with the exception of one remote control instance, but once the squads kind of went autonomous, uh, during the second to third mission, everything also started falling into place as well. So, and the first mission was also executed pretty well with the exception of the first squad. So, still, really good things, really bad things, overall balance, meh. (laughs) Your average Friday operation. I don't have anything after this, I'm gonna go get dinner, um... There is something on Friday that I was supposed to do at 6, but I instead filled something else out to get scheduled for stuff. Uh, and that's related to the Star Sim unit, because I know there's a few of you in here asking about that. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go eat all I can at one of my favorite Asian places with a good friend of mine. Uh, go operate operationally. Tomorrow we have Iron Front Operations. And then I might do something else. I don't know yet. And then Sunday is, uh... Fuck. Tier 2 and Tier 3 ops. Oh, shit. They're pulling right. Quick break. Uh, quick break. I Before I go, one last announcement I gotta give. The Tier 3 ops will be open to some Tier 2s and some Tier 1s on Sunday. It's something special. <sighs> tier 1s are going to be in a civilian role. And Tier 2s are going to be in a defensive role. Um... We're basically going to take the first XCAM mission and make it on a bigger scale and incorporate a nice little PvP element in it. So, yeah, that's all I got. Anyway, guys, I got a bail. Um, oh, no. Overall, it was a decent op today. It was, Shit. like, I know we always highlight the bad ones, but after the bad, most of the bad went away, you guys then rebounded and finished the last two ops strong. So, you know, it was great. Also, Cholt, um, I don't know how you didn't notice the bunny, like, eat the mortars, but, you know... <laughs> oh, we, we noticed. <laughs> what? They disappeared the second we asked to use them? No, see, the no. plan... I will say this, though. He was already there, and my intention was to destroy them. It's just that I got sidetracked sniping the commander because he was out in the open, and then by the time I looked back to do it, you were there. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I gotta do it quickly, but yeah. Anyway, take care, guys. <laughs> Have a good I one. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, see you see later. later. Uh, Dang, so to follow up on that point, when Dang. when we was on the right side, we were pushing up and we had two squads still inside that checkpoint. Alright guys, take care.